Artificial intelligence developers in Tanzania are calling for more government support to unlock the immense potential of the technology. A tech startup has designed a platform that empowers African developers to build chatbots and have conversational experiences that are tailored to African languages. Our correspondent Daniel Kijo has more from Dar es Salaam. Kalebu so Guelugano is on a mission to expand the use of AI technology in Tanzania. He says Africa is significantly underrepresented when it comes to the use and application of artificial intelligence, a challenge that hampers opportunities for Tanzanian youth to harness AI's power to solve problems, which is why he developed Sarufi, a platform which helps build chatbox in African languages using AI to make platforms more diverse and inclusive. So we're using AI to kind of understand the language uh, on, on what people are saying, but at the same time we're using AI to find the appropriate uh, response. What, what should we reply to this person? What the text should we look like? Sarufi is just one of the many AI firms cropping up in Tanzania. Technology experts say they're also seeing an increasing number of incubation hubs being set up to nurture AI-focused startups, which provide mentorship to the youth and offer resources. Uh, the many communities which are based in universities and outside universities. So to provide some examples, uh, there's a generative AI community which includes people who are specialists in the work field and uh, university students and people who are just generally interested in AI. Uh, also within the universities, there are dedicated AI labs, as for example, like uh, in SUA, and they usually get uh, sponsorships and grants for different kinds of projects. Making AI-powered platforms in local languages is a start, but Kalebu says a lack of skills and investment in research and development are hampering Tanzania's opportunity to excel in the sector. To truly bring about a significant change, youth need to be trained in AI applications, then supported and trusted with investment by the government and private sector, he says. Sometimes getting trust in the market is quite hard, uh, but another thing uh, is challenges are uh, AI is a uh, data hungry uh, uh, industry, so you need a lot of need to have a lot of data uh, to really train the AI model. Experts are calling on the government to formulate a policy to promote and control the proper use of artificial intelligence. For now, the AI community in Tanzania is leading the way, working to enhance skills, create African content, and curate social solutions to accelerate development. AI holds the promise of employment, it can foster innovation and expand access to essential services. With more government support, Tanzania can position its youth to harness the transformative power of AI. The country's youth can thrive in today's rapidly changing world and contribute meaningfully to a sustainable future for the whole society. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.